Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for one of my most favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what my team of collaborators created using the November 2022 Sheet Load of Cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what my collaborators created for the month. For some of you, this is just a recap of what you've already seen, but others of you who might not be on Instagram or haven't had a chance to get to all of the YouTube videos, some of these cards might look new. Now, I know you're going to want to find out more about each of the cards, so I do have my team of collaborators links in that description box below. So once you're done with this video, you can go check them out a little bit closer. I know that they would love for you to stop by, get more information on what they've created, and leave them some love. The November 2022 sheet load of cards shows you how to make 18 split panel cards with just three pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. Now, if you haven't yet seen the debut video where I tell you how you can get the free printable or the process video where I show you how I made my first set, both of those videos will be linked in the description box below. If you haven't ever heard of a split panel card, what that means is we have cut just a little bit out of the front of the card so you have a peek at the inside. But because you're holding it together with this strip here and with the circle, they still stand up like a regular card. Here are a look at some of the 18 I created for my first set. There were just way too many to bring on screen. This is definitely a great one to build up the card stash or make cards for the upcoming holiday season. The other day, I shared a video for Not Too Shabby where I used some of their six by six pattern papers. I used three of those and I ended up getting four cards. So I will have that video linked below as well. But you can see here, I have three that have all of the regular dimensions. And then on this fourth one, because one of my pattern papers didn't have a direction, I was able to use the scraps. And you'll notice here at the top, this is just a little bit taller and at the bottom it's a little bit shorter but it still works just as well I hope you'll check this video out if you haven't watched it already now let's go ahead and share a look at what the team created up first is Yvette of Yvette Olea creates and she has used the November 2022 sheet load to create this lovely set of Christmas cards. I especially like that Santa paper. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea channel has created these beautiful thank you cards using just two different pattern papers and then that gorgeous shaped focal point to hold the top and bottom of her card front together. Ashley of Mint Twist Cards created this beautiful sheet load. I like kind of the soft muted colors of her papers and those fun focal points. Karen of the Karen's Crafting Company channel created this cute set of winter cards. I love the blues in this with the touch of wood grain on some and how she has used the 3x4 cut aparts to hold the top and bottom together. Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts has created a sheet load of Christmas cards. I am loving the more traditional colored papers with those reds and greens and how some of her focal points are those fun tags. Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia is switching up her papers for this month to make Christmas cards. I love the fun papers and how those little focal points look like decorated sugar cookies. 
Karen Aiken has created a variety of cards this month using the new sketch. She shows us how this is a great one to use up some scraps you might have in your stash. First up on the Instagram is Lisa who is at Scrapbook Girl and she created this set of fun fall cards and I just love that bear in the scarf on her focal points. Stacy, aka Craftaholic Mama made a set of fall cards as well, loving the tags holding the top and bottom together and how she has rotated some of her cards. Barbara, who is at One Busy Bee on Instagram, created this set of gorgeous Christmas cards. I love the different patterns she put together and the gold embossed sentiments on her focal points. Noe Me, who is at AZ Crafty on Instagram, put a fun twist on this month's sheet load by rotating all of her cards. You'll see also that she moved her circle focal point to better fit her sketch and layout. As always, sheet load is a great jumping off point for you to make your cards your own. Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy on Instagram, created 18 gorgeous holiday cards. You'll see here she has put some of her circles to the left of the center strip and has added those cute flowers to the focal points. At Jessie Kate Creates, aka Jessica, created this sweet set of cards for November 2022. I know that it's just started to turn cold here in Nebraska, but these make me think of warm summer days. Wasn't that another wonderful showcase? If you agree, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to visit everybody's links in that description box below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.